Hey guys, Ryan Earnhardt here from creativesoundlab.tv. But I want to show you today a demo that I left out of last video. The video on five ways to make your room sound larger than it really is. Well, I have a really cool demo. It's kind of a combo of a previous video about turning down the cymbals in your room mic. And it also makes your room sound larger. So let's check it out. Okay, so behind me is kind of a hint of uh, where I went with this. This is really a, a sidebar episode. I didn't want to include this in the original video because it was just too much of a rabbit trail. But as I did the demo with the guitar amp in front of the mic, the goal was is to make the room sound a little bit larger, block that direct sound to that room mic. And before I moved and repositioned things, I went ahead and said, you know what? I wonder what it sounds like to flip the guitar amp around and position it so that the microphone sits inside of that guitar amp and then see what we get. And I think the result is really cool. I'll tell you what I think in a minute. Let's have a listen back to back. Okay, so it's kind of what you'd expect. Uh, you know, you shove uh, something in a cabinet, you're going to get more low end resonance and stuff. But what's cool about that is that because we're getting more kick, more snare, probably more toms if I played the toms, is that we're actually turning up those elements, right? But that means we're turning down the cymbals. So it's kind of cool because if you had a really loud, bashy drummer and you wanted to use this trick, well, flip the guitar amp around, shield the mic even more, kind of get the mic inside that resonance. Use the cabinet to actually flavor the sound of your room mics. Now, this is nothing new. I mean, we've done this stuff. If you follow these videos, we've done this stuff with a tom, right? Uh, we had this lo-fi recording technique where we had a tom sitting on a piano bench. And we had the mic behind that tom, and the sound went through the tom colored it and was recorded by the microphone. And this is really a similar technique. It's like the a sibling technique because we're coloring the sound of the drum set going through the speakers, the paper cones, all that, and really just resonating in that cabinet and giving us more beef out of the toms, out of the kick, out of the snare, and less cymbals. All the while, hopefully it's still a pretty gushy, you know, diffused room sound that we're originally going for. So this is just a trick, you know, we're using these things. Now, this is just stuff we had laying around. I didn't build this. Uh, you don't have to go and buy something to pull this off. I think most of us have this kind of equipment around. If we record guitars and we record drums, we probably have an amp sitting around. So hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what you think.